Hello guys, welcome to the channel for Mania. In today's video, we are doing the tips, tricks, and features, and settings of video of the Moto H50 Pro. So guys, this is the Moto H50 Pro. So guys, let's start off from the most interesting features. If you want to turn on your favorite function, just double tap on the back of the phone. You can see instantly the Chrome appears. And if you want to turn on the torch, just you can see instantly the torch is turned on. And again, do like this, the torch would be turned off. And if you want to turn on the camera, just do a swirl like this instantly the camera would be turned on so a lot of handy functions over here so where is it exactly just go to settings and just scroll down to find this option just choose here you can see the functions so starting off we have a quick launch over here so just tap the settings icon and you can see just double tap on the back of the phone you can assign it to these functions along with that you can customize to any of the application which is installed on your phone you can see just tap over here and select the application which you need on the back tab so that option is over there and the next one which i have shown you is the quick capture that means just do like this instantly the camera will be turned on that is the next option so you need to make sure it is already turned on and next is a fast torch just do like this instantly it turns on the torch again do like this it will turn off the torch that option is also available over here and you can just tap over here and you can just customize whether you want the vibrations or not and the same thing if you just uh, tap the quick capture you can have which camera to open that means if you need the rear camera when you just do the twist or the front camera you can just switch it based on your personal friends another interesting feature without pressing any buttons i'm gonna unlock my phone i'm just lifting my phone up and that's it the phone is unlocked how to set this up first of all just go to settings and just go to gestures and at the bottom you can see lift to unlock just turn it on and then you need to go to the lock section the device lock so just tap the security and privacy and just tap the device unlock and tap the uh, uh, face unlock and just register your face over here and then you, you need to make sure you need to enable the skip lock screen so whenever your face is detected in the lock screen automatically it went to the home screen so once if it is disabled what happens is when i just lift up the phone you can see unlocked by face but still it's in the lock screen so i need a swipe to go get there so no need to worry just tap the face unlock and uh, just tap skip lock screen and over here also you can enable the lift to unlock so you need to only come to this area to turn on the uh, instant unlock off with the face and now let's move to some other handy features so that's in the gestures section itself so just move to the gestures and apart from that we have few more options like pick up to silence that is whenever you are receiving an incoming call and just it would automatically go to silence when you just lift your phone up directly so and the best part is it is giving a visual representation of how it gonna display over which is really a good part usually the phones just show in and uh, just a just a random animation but this shows a really good animation and next is flip for do not disturb so if you want to just turn it on and whenever you want to switch to do not disturb mode just flip up your phone like this so and instantly it would be going to the do not disturb mode so that is also nice and whenever just you just fix up your phone back it would be automatically disables the do not disturb mode which is really good would you believe if i say the samsung galaxy's edge panel is on the moto h50 pro if you need the app set panel just give a swipe over here you can see instantly the edge panel appears over here and you can see lot of apps over here just tap the next and okay so you can see lot of apps you can see and even you can just tap this icon to expand it and you can see all the most of the applications will be over here so how to set this up this is really convenient and the best part is suppose you are uh, browsing through the crop and now you need to open another application so let it be photos so if you tap the photos what happens is it would open only in a small pop-up window that won't distract your current interaction so that means you can see you can still browse in the chrome and meanwhile you can still access that which is a really good part and the best part is you can expand this by just tapping over here that is also available over there so that's uh, if i just again do and again i just tap calculate you can see and one more part is that you can just increase or decrease based on your person need and all so you can see you can currently chrome and you can just do the calculations nine plus nine you can see same set of calculations can be done and if you don't need this small window just click the minus over there and it will be automatically go with this small pop window over there and whenever you need that just tap over here it would be back again so a lot of handy features on the moto h50 pro and just tap the minus and instantly it will be appear like a small edge app over here and it will be automatically hidden the side bar over there so that is uh, 
the smart sidebar i will show you how to set this up just go to settings and just scroll down to find the gestures option and just over here you can see sidebar just turn it on and just tap the settings and customize the apps based on your needs select only the apps which you frequently use and the, if these are the apps which you don't use then just click the minus button and add the apps which frequently use that means just with a single swipe you only access those apps which you use frequently so that's the part over there and just go to settings and again going to the gestures and just you can see currently i'm using the button navigation but if you need the gesture navigation just tap the navigation mode or vice versa you can just if you are already in the gesture navigation you can just go back to the button navigation over here so just tap the gesture navigation and it is really simple just give a swipe up for the home and swipe up and stop at the middle for the reasons and just go back is a left edge swipe or the right edges and the best part is the back swipe is really good because of the edge on the sides actually this feels a really good along that there is a really good haptic feedback also so that is really cool for the moto h50 pro so again just go back to the same location so settings and that's the gesture navigation and if it just tap over here here we are getting the sensitivity of the back tap that means it's it should be a just a small tap instantly use the back or it need a high so if you need a, a strong back tap then only need to go back then you need to set to high which can be done based on your needs and currently you can see there is a navigation bar at the bottom so you can find it useful if you are using it for the first time but if you are already a pro over here then you can just tap hide and now you can just immerse your full screen experience and one more best part is there if you can switch apps like you are scrolling photos through the gallery usually we switch apps like this so no need for that just do this kind of swipe over here instantly you can just switch the apps like you are scrolling photos through the gallery which is a really good you can see wow simply awesome next is one handed mode so just tap on one handed mode over here and just turn it on and make sure you just do a small swipe on the bottom part instantly you would be switching to the one handed mode and whenever you one handed mode is over just tap over here instantly you can get back so the essential use of one handed mode is whenever you you just need uh, to be handled and therefore with a single hand then you can just use it with ease so that's one handed mode and whenever you are good to go just tap over here instantly it would be going back to the same location so that's one handed mode next is swipe to split so i'll show you just turn it on so you can see good job select the application okay so now so suppose if i'm in cross swipe in swipe out and you can just tap the second application so let it be the photos so at the same time you can have the chrome along with the photos so that option is also available so just tap the settings and just go to gestures and you can see uh swipe display that's the option which i have just shown just make sure you just turn it on to enable the feature and next we have three finger screenshot just press and hold with three fingers instantly to take a screenshot so that option is also available turn on the camera right front the screen is off just double press the key you can see instantly you can see the camera is turned on so i'll show you how to set this up just go to settings and just tap the gestures and over here you can see double press the power key you can just set to launch camera and one more thing is that by default if you press and hold the power key automatically uh, the google assistant would be up here so if you need this power menu just tap press and hold the power button and just tap from the digital assistant just switch to power menu one more thing is there so currently you can see if i just lock my phone and i can make use of my fingerprint or face friction so but if you just press and hold over here and just tap the lockdown button what happens is so if you are in someone's place which is not much familiar for you and you have doubt that someone might access your fingerprint by when you sleep like this like this or you might use their face data or something like that so no need to worry just press and hold the power menu and just tap the lock switch what lock down option what happens is it will automatically disable your fingerprint scanner as well as for instruction you can only access your phone with just your pin so you have more security in such cases so make sure you enable that also when in such uh, cases and all so just again go to settings and just go to the gestures and you can see the press and hold power button and next is some media controls you can have a lot of options so you can see when the screen is off press and hold the volume up key that means you can, you can just hold press and hold the volume up key it will automatically go to next track that option is available and for the previous track you can see when the screen is off uh, press and hold the volume down key for the previous track that option is also available then volume up and down key that means to adjust the volume tap and release that means tap release yeah, you can just do like this for the volume up and down so lot of options over there itself uh in terms of the media control just regarding the customization of font just tap the personalize and you are getting a lot of options just tap over here and this is regarding the home screen and the lock screen but of course just tap over here you can 
tab change wallpapers and select the live wallpapers over here so you can see few of the really cool wallpapers are there so you can just select based on your personal likes and uh, let me just go back and you can select some themes over here and based on that it can just see everything will be changed based on that layout and all so that option is there so that's the themes and apart from that we have the phones option and we have a few styles over here so tap your personal habit and just uh, use it over there and then apart from that we have the colors currently i have a shade of this blue type of shade and if you need any color of you you can choose from the color palette option and just select the color which you need so let it be red and just tap save and it will be using this red color and just tap the save and now if i just go to settings settings you can see this color or layout would be red over there so you can see so you can just customize it in that way also so that's the personalized option and then icon shapes you can see a round square or whatever shape it is you can just customize it also and then apart from that we have the lock screen customization so you can see if you just tap over here you can select the type of the clocks and also a lot of as much i just love this one and apart from that you can select the notification styles it should be list chip or bubble and based on that you can just customize it so and also one more thing is there so if you just tap you can just tap over here and select which should be the left shortcut and right shortcut which is really good you can see lot of even it supports the application which is a really good part usually in phones it won't support just some few shortcuts like torch or camera but this can support a lot of uh, options over there so let me assign camera to over here and uh, so we can just assign it right away so that's cool and apart from that then we have the display text and size you can see the phone size can be increased and the display size the banner size along with the icons can be increased and if you need bold text then you can just tap over here and if you need high contrast text you can also tap over here and make use of the high contrast text and next is the layout that means in a single screen how much applications we fit for the maximum set of applications you can switch to five into seven for the maximum set of applications and for the low you can just switch two into two that option is also available then we have the fingerprint animation analog animation so you can have three of them so my personal favorite is the radio laser itself it's, it looks cool and apart from that we have the sounds you can adjust the tones notifications and alarms tones and then we have the light mode dark mode and the transitions based on your sunsets and some rise timings and then we have the edge lighting feature you can see uh, for the incoming call alarm and notifications so you can set the color based on your preference so for this i would uh, recommend this theme is color itself which is really cool and if you don't need the lights for an app notification you can just disable it and if you don't need for alarm just disable so and it wouldn't be showing this edge lighting for this the set which you have just disabled so that's the personalization and next is the display so we can have the dark mode and then we have the colors so it have three options one is this one that is the natural one then the radiant one and vivid one vivid is really saturated so i would recommend to keep it on the vivid itself and then we have the display refresh rate so auto means automatically it will optimize based on the content it is coming and if you need 144 hertz for all the time then you can just force switch to 144 hertz for the maximum smoothness then it will be just flawless on the phone and apart from that we have the flicker prevention option which is really good and then a night light those people who use the phone in the room at night time without turning on any lights then you should turn on this feature uh, right now itself and you can set the intensity based on your comfort and also those who have some power issues type also you can just turn it on it, uh, you can just customize it in your own way so that option is also available in the display settings and then apart from that the home screen and lock screen settings so just have the home screen settings and starting off we have home screen style so if you need a home screen along with an app drive then you can switch the same itself app right but if you need just a home screen then you can just switch open so there would be no app drawer and all so you can just customize it in your own way and next is the swipe access so if you show you just swap you can see it automatically on the left it shows the google screen so if you don't need that just uh you can just disable it over there so just tap the settings and just home screen and lock screen as home settings and just swipe access to nothing so now you can see Thing would be over there so you can just customize it in based on your needs over there so that's it and next is the control center so just here tap over here and you can have the classic style as well as the modern style so currently you can see it is the classic style and just have the modern style and wow oh the classic style looks really eroded but the modern style i just love it wow it feels so cool 
okay so you need to enable uh, the modern style if it's your choice and next is lock screen so you can just customize it lock screen i have already shown it over there so that option is also available so next is the lock screen settings just tap the lock screen and you can have a lot of functions so you can have a text on lock screen so it's your personal so my personal reference is god is love so i'm just tap save so you can see god is love it should be showing on the lock screen so and again going to the settings settings and again going to the home screen lock screen and just tap the lock screen and here are a few of some basic settings that means wake the display that means you can just wake by tapping the display just like this or or just moving the phone like this if you just move the phone like this you can just wake the display so that option is also available and next is jump to lock screen so you can just double tap actually this is not jump to lock screen this is just double tap to wake so that is the thing which is uh, given in new name that is jump to lock screen and put the display to sleep that is double tap to lock see and that actually they are given some alternate names so these options are available so if you just tap double tap it won't be shown in the settings so make sure you just look into that okay and now next is the notification history that means if someone sends you a whatsapp message but before you read that message they are deleted for everyone no need to worry just turn on the notification history each and every message is received on the phone with the exact timestamp would be shown on the notification history so no need to worry in such cases and uh, so that's the notification history. next is the battery and currently you can see the charge boost is turned off that means the phone will be charged slowly but if you need to fast charge it fast then you need to turn on the charge boost then it will be charged really fast and apart from that here are a few options like the power sharing option is there allow power sharing and uh, you can just use it and uh, if you don't need just turn it off and apart from that if you currently you can see the battery percentage is not shown so just have the battery percentage now you can see the battery percentage will be shown over there and apart from that here is overcharge protection by default it is also already turned on and apart from that we have optimized charging option and if you need uh, the battery health to be stayed so active then you need to turn on the use optimized charging so that would be really helpful for the maintaining the battery health and all so that is also cool now you might be thinking where is the app lock app hide and similar stuff so actually it is in a separate location that's the secure folder location so you can just tap the moto secure folder so or we can say that's moto secure just learn more and you can see it's a secure folder is over here just tap the secure folder lock down options a lot of options are there so you can see just tap the secure folder and this is exactly like the samsung does and get started and my pin one two three four okay now it's scans just wait a second so you can see by entering a pattern let so let me draw a pattern right now so okay, it's done and uh, fingerprint setup maybe later so this is the secure folder which is available over here and in this location you can add apps which contain a separate data you can see this is a separate location and wouldn't contain any data over here and you can add data to this location and all just have the plus icon and just tap add files and you can just add files from the primary to the secure folder location and along with that you can also add apps that means you can use one app on the primary and the another app over here so that's really fun to use just tap add apps you can use chrome one chrome two facebook one facebook two over here too so that's really good for some people so that essentially it's a mixture of app log app hide everything in this same exact location and along with that dual app so everything these three would be combined in this location okay so that's just tap the motor and just tap for the motor secure and just go to secure folder and whenever you ask for the secure folder it will be asked for your pattern so just throw your pattern and you are good to go to the secure folder okay so you can also set the secure folder timeout so let's be log immediately when the secure folder is minimized so that option would be nice apart from that you can set the timings also based on your personal reference and one more thing is there so currently you can see just have you can see a moto secure icon over there so and a secure folder icon so if you don't need that one then you need to do is just show your pattern and just tap over here and you can see disguised icons just tap on and you can just select uh, over here and tap health see and just tap okay now the thing is you can see you can't find the secure folder anymore and you can see a health icon just over there and if you tap the health icon <laughs> you can see the secure folder is back over there 
and apart from one more option is there that is a stealth mode that means if you just tap over here what happens is you can see stealth mode in moto secure i dapper just tap enable stealth mode turn it on enable stealth mode so now you can see the both the applications so no applications will be like the moto secure application would not be there uh, that means our secure folder would not be there then how to access it so if you just tap the settings and search for the secure folder secure folder you can see the folder is there but it won't open the application now you need to go to the sec same exact location that means just go to this uh, security and privacy and just scroll and go to more security and privacy and over there you can find a secure folder and then enter the secure folder and do the same kind of stuff or you can just disable the stealth mode by just disabling these two then it will be back over there you can see the health that means the secure folder is back over there so this is the way okay so that's the secure folder which is option and apart from that we have some authentication settings you can use a fingerprint or make pattern invisible that option is also there and also use fingerprint option you can also set it up so uh, not enabled and now you can apart from that we have some more settings you can delete the secure folder content everything so that option is there so if you just up now the pattern will be hidden see wow so this is it and now let's tap the camera ui so starting off we are getting a slow motion mode and we can record fhd and hd and then the maximum is uh, 240 fps hd and 240 fps and fhd and 120 fps okay and next we can shoot in one x sorry one x and two x the slow motion and we have the maximum at 4k at 30 fps you can see 4k at 30 fps is maximum if i switch to 60 automatically you can see zoom range is limited to the resolution so it will automatically switch to 100 p at 30 fps over there and if i turn on the stabilization you can have the smart stabilization option also and we have a horizontal log option also over there and next is a photo mode and you can see a macro mode 0 0.5x 1x 2x 3x and maximum up to 30x is available in the photos so and uh, we can have some filters option also over there and apart from that we have a portrait mode which can take 24 mm 35 mm 50 mm and 85 mm and also we can adjust the background blur also you can see background blur also and we have pro mode over there which can add manually adjust approach iso white balance at all and even it can shoot in macro okay so that's super cool and we have scan mode more we can have a sport color night vision panorama ultra also that means 15 mode and dual capture that means front and back at the same time and then a photo booth that means four photo like a photo collage and all and then we have tilt shift long exposure time lapse sport color and dual capture in video also that means so that's really good for the Moto H50 Pro. So guys, these are the quick tips, tricks, and features and settings from the video of the Moto H50 Pro. So guys, that's it today. Signing off. It's for Mania.